Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the forces in the top of the tower in a suspension cable when it is on guide pulley support and on roller or saddle support. First let us take the guide pulley support. Let us keep VT as the vertical force on the top of the tower and HT as the horizontal force on the top of the tower. Let us keep this angle as alpha and let us keep this angle as theta. T is the tension. This is the tension in the anchor cable and it is the tension in the suspension cable. Let us assume that the pulley is frictionless. In this case, the tension in the anchor cable should be equal to the tension in the suspension cable. Now, let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find vt. We have to resolve this force in the vertical direction. Here the angle is alpha. So when we resolve it in the vertical direction, we will get t cos alpha. Since it is acting downwards, it will be negative. In the similar way, we have to resolve this force in the vertical direction. Here the angle is theta. So when we resolve in the vertical direction, we will get t cos theta. Since it is acting downwards, it should be negative. This force is acting upwards so that it will be positive. We can take these two terms on the other side. So they will come as positive. We can take T outside. This is the expression for Vt. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 and find Ht. We have to resolve this force into horizontal. Here the angle is theta. So when we resolve in the horizontal, we will get T sin theta. Since it is acting towards the right side, it should be positive. In the similar way, we have to resolve this force into horizontal. Here the angle is alpha. So when we resolve it in the horizontal direction, we will get T sin alpha. Since it is acting towards the left side, it should be negative. HT is acting towards the left side, so it should be negative. Let us take minus HT on the other side, so it will come as positive. From these two, we can take T outside. So this is the expression for HT. In the top of the tower, T cos theta is the vertical component. It should be the vertical reaction due to the loads. T sin theta is the horizontal thrust H. So in this equation, instead of T cos theta, we can apply V. Also in this equation, instead of T sin theta, we can apply H. So these are the alternative expressions for Vt and Ht. Let us keep the height of the tower as H. Now we can find the bending moment at the base of the tower. For that we have to multiply the horizontal force with the height. Just before we have made the expression for HT, let us apply that. So this is the expression for the bending moment at the base of the tower. Now let us consider the suspension cable on a roller or a saddle support. Let us keep the tension in the anchor cable as T1 and the tension in the suspension cable as T2. Since it is a roller support, there will be no horizontal force. There will be only vertical force in the top of the tower. In this case, the horizontal force on the left side and on the right side should be same. Let us find the horizontal force on the left side. On the left side, we have T1. We have to resolve this into horizontal. The angle is alpha. So when we resolve T1 in the horizontal direction, it will be T1 sin alpha. Let us find the horizontal force on the left side. Here we have T2. We have to resolve this into horizontal. Here the angle is theta. So when we resolve in the horizontal direction, we will get T2 sin theta. We know that the forces on the left side and on the right side should be same. Let us take sin alpha on the other side so that we will get T1. 
Alternatively, we can make another expression for T1. We know that T2 sin theta is the horizontal thrust H. In this case, we can take sin alpha on the right side. So, it will come in the denominator. So, this is the another expression for T1. Now, let us find the vertical force Vt. We have to resolve T1 in the vertical direction. When we do that, we will get T1 cos alpha. Since it is acting downwards, it will be negative. In the same way, we can resolve T2 in the vertical direction. When we do that, we will get T2 cos theta. Since it is acting downwards, it will be negative. Vt is acting upwards so that it will be positive. We can take these two on the other side. So both of them will be positive. We know that T2 cos theta is the vertical component that is the vertical reaction due to the loads. So instead of T2 cos theta, we can apply V. So this is the another expression for Vt. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.